I'm sorry, John, who have been evicted from the Big Brother Victory House. Thank you, guys. Also kind of worried because with the whole me against John, there were still a couple of votes that were against me, and I have no idea who those people were. Any hunches on who those people were? I'm gonna say it was probably a guy, and it was probably some veterans, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming one was John's partner, and the other one was maybe like one of the guys that's working with him. Christian, I was aligned with him. I did kind of throw him under the bus and make the um, plant those seeds to get him out of the house, including that kinky vote, um, which everyone completely bought because he was erratic as hell right before the vote. He started whispering. Um, he started trying to whisper to me in front of everybody to try to flip the vote at the last second, and so it was really easy to pin it on him because everyone else saw that too. Um, and, but then... Samantha got clued in that I was probably the hinky vote because so I'm worried about her she, because she and she was stupid enough to tell me like why would you tell me that you caught me in a lie like now you're at the top of my list girl like so Samantha Ben Ashley because Ashley was trying to push this all girls alliance they're at the top of my list right now So whoever wins their next head of the household, that's going to be critical. And I feel like we haven't really talked on where you stand on um, just me and you. Well, I do think that as a result of what happened in the past two head of households, we are targets now mm -hmm. for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it would not surprise me if we both found ourselves fucked in. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe not both of us, at yeah. least one of us. Mm -hmm. I think you are more likely to get loaded up there than me because you've played before. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that now people are like thinking that I'm like more threatening. Only because it's maybe not the veterans, but the like, people who were new, like myself. Yeah. Like I would view me as scary. Do you think it's there is a big division between veterans and uh, people who played before? Only because people keep saying it. Yeah. I don't think that it's actually. It doesn't yeah. seem to be the case. Um, so I, was, I just wanted to see like where is that coming from because I don't feel that it is really the case. I do. It seems like it's been most people saying that they anticipate that happening mm -hmm. and that it hasn't. Um, I don't really see how that helps you as a player to align that way. In fact, it would make more sense to align, I don't know, with the other. Well, so maybe. you're saying that there's a highly possibility of whoever wins head of household for putting one of us on the block next. I don't know that. I'm well, just, just so. assuming, and if that's the case, then the game of that would be that we're not going to put each other on the block. Yes. I mean, like if I get, yeah, like if I get head of household, like your name is not going to be in the conversation. Oh yeah. You obviously can't get next head of household. So the the play of if I get put up on the block, then you're trying to sway it to something else. No, I mean you got my back this round. I totally got your back. Okay. Um, like and I have no problem. Yeah. In it, so yeah. Concerned is now. Christian and Alliance, and I understand I've only suggested that we do it in order to say something. A little is not even as opposed. Yes. Oh, well, I think you might have done a couple things like that just by the way he's talking, so I'm concerned that but that's an issue. Like, it's not like we can say, you have to be honest. No, we can't do that because that will turn him against us. It's also would it help us to tell him to stop talking so much. And just like, we could have a talk with him. We yeah. need to because. He's just so obvious about an adult and worry, just kind of go into a room he just falls. Yeah. And, and it's not good. Yeah, and I don't want to just like, I feel really guilty if we were like, well, let's vote him out then. Especially because he just, well, whenever I mean, someone else would put him up. I would also feel really shitty if we formed an alliance with someone and then as an alliance early on like this turned against them, I feel like that would make them still worse. be them being here screwed all of us.
everyone is able to compete. This also means you will not know who the HOH is this round, and you will not know who won the power of veto, but someone will still be evicted. House guests, fill out your list. At the top of the list, you will put the people that you want out of the house. At the bottom of the list are the people that you don't want to see leave. These lists will determine a lot this round, so please take them seriously. Hi, Cherie. Hi. Welcome to your next HOH competition. This is called Ghost Hit List. Okay. Um, when you have a seat, um, you can... Um, You'll see your other house guest hit list, and your job is to place the name to their respective hit list. Um, we've rewritten them for anonymity. Okay. Um, the person who matches the most names in the least amount of time will be the new HOH. When you think you have it correct, just say done, and we'll lock in your time. Oh, okay. Get started. Okay. ghost round. There are a bunch of people still in the house, um, and, uh, like, no, no real way to strategize with other people, just kind of, like, go with your gut and what you've, like, the conversations you've had and, like, have, try to have a little luck. Um, I mean, it is telling that like, I, my name came up on a lot of lists uh, somewhere within the top five, even if it wasn't in, in the top two. Um, and so that was telling me that I kind of have to dig into that a little bit. This is your next head of household competition. Okay. Head back to the backyard out there for a little bit called the ghost round. Before you, you'll see the hit list of your fellow house guest. When you sit down, time will start and you can, you will have to match the name of each house guest to who you think the hit list belongs to. That was terrifying because I saw my name in several different places, kind of high up on some people's lists and I have no idea who those people were. The most answers within the shortest amount of time is the next HOH. Oh my gosh. Time will start when you sit down. Okay. I know I'm at least one person's target because my name was first on somebody's list, so... Um, any ideas who that is? I do not have any ideas. I thought maybe it could be Samantha, but I'm not sure. I don't really feel like we trust each other as much yet in the game, but um, everybody else has pretty much befriended me a lot, so um, I would be shocked if it wasn't Samantha. Or maybe Christian. Oh, I see this. Is this in the fastest time you said, or just the most correct? <laughs> the most correct in the fastest time. And I was kind of disappointed to see my name on like five different people's lists on slot four or five. So clearly people are catching on to what I'm doing and that I'm dabbling in a lot of relationships and forming a lot of mini alliances and not using that name. Um, but anyway, people are catching on and I'm not flying under the radar as much as I thought I was. So that kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's a good call. <laughs> This is like was terrifying me because I was like wasn't sure if we were gonna show the top or just the top of the list or all the list and I was like oh if they show all of it I am fucked. Otherwise it would show all my cards and that just ain't good. So start with the easy one. Um okay. it's whoever gets it the most right the fastest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, sweet. So I saw my name enough. I saw my name two times. I saw my name in a fourth place spot and a, in a second place spot on somebody's list. So it only came up two times, which actually makes me really happy because that tells me that my work has been really good in making people think that I'm with them. 
Um, the two people I think it was was probably probably Ashley, um, maybe Samantha, maybe Ben. Those are people who I haven't had a ton of working relationships with. Um, I'm not really uh, I'm not really concerned too concerned about it. All those people people's names came up way more, and even if I was on the block with somebody, I think I'd have the votes to stay. Because you don't mess with this. I'm, I'm on a slow wind turn into a hurricane. Well, my alliance would not put Bree at the top. So it's none of my, my core five. I'm gonna try to get my alliance next. So, Tree, Bree, Carlo, and Maureen. So the alliance I'm gonna try to cement tonight to be the final five. Three. Who the fuck is Reed gonna target? That's I mean, I don't think she's thought that far ahead. <laughs> Does she even think like targets? No, no. Okay. list at all but one person and that was number five so I feel like um, what reputation I have as far as being a social gamer more than a physical gamer this is showing once again um, the only thing that kind of worries me is that people did notice that when we went back upstairs some people were running their mouth and saying, well, I didn't see your name up there at all. And, you know, having them say that in front of everyone really could possibly fuck my game up. The ghost HOH has made his or her nominations. Um, once we name the nominations, we will immediately play for veto in a really quick, you know. <laughs> uh, the first nominee that the ghost HOH has named is Christian. Second nominee that the Ghost HOH has named is Samantha. You probably didn't hear that. Alan asked who I thought was the Ghost HOH. Christian, it's, it's hard to say because everyone had Christian at the top of their list, so it's hard to say who would have put him up, but the fact that Samantha was second makes me know for a fact that it was a male. Um, because the girls are pretty tight. Uh, Samantha. Samantha is a super fan. People probably know that. Um, whoever put her up was pretty smart, I would say. I'm going to say either Ben or Nathan. Possibly Matt. Possibly Josh. I don't know. The ghost HOH was extremely stressful but I believe I was the winner of that HOH because my two nominations were the two that ended up on the block and I didn't see anybody else with those two nominations. Do you um, know or have an idea of who won that ghost HOH? I do. Who? Ricky. Okay. Yep, Ricky and I are pretty tight too. Um, so he shared that with me. Hopefully it's the truth and I think it is. And, um, he kind of did some of the work for me. It's really hard not having any control and not knowing. Um, it's you're trying to figure out who won head of household just by the two that was up. And honestly, those were the two I put the top two. So that could have mean that I won head of household or somebody else won it. So the ghost HOH, um, I have no idea who it could be. I have a feeling that it's probably a guy, maybe somebody who I haven't talked to. So what, like, you were put up, right? Yes. I wasn't expecting that. Um. Who are you put up against? Christian. Which I felt like was an obvious choice for a majority of the house guests for where everybody was feeling current. So there's one simple um, veto question. You can answer it to the best of your ability without going over the number. 
And you also, on the same sheet, will, will note that you'd like to use the power of veto. And if so, who you'd like to use it on? Would you like to say Christian or Samantha? Would you like to use the power of veto and take them off the block? If they're taken off the block, the third person on the HOH, is, uh, on the HOH in uh, hit list will become the replacement on the yeah, the POV was interesting. What was the question? Um, how many total seconds did the combined house guests spend on the first? Competition, which I completely did my math wrong. I was just thinking 30 minutes times 60 seconds. Don't know why. <laughs> Power of veto has been won. And the person who won the power of veto has chosen not to use it. This veto ceremony is adjourned. Now, the votes to evict have already been cast. It is based off of who was higher on more people's hit list. By a vote of 10, sorry, 11 to 3, Samantha, you are safe. Christian, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Victory House. Okay, let's get action into it. There we go. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, just a quick. Why was Christian so like disliked or wanted? I don't think it's that he was disliked. I think after he got pers put up on the first round, he just got a little defensive and um, riled up. And I think he kind of wanted to stir up drama in some of the past evictions. I think he was playing a little like sporastically, so everybody didn't feel comfortable with where he was at in the game. So, um, but thankfully I survived, but just get me through the night. Unfortunately, Christian just went home. I was in an alliance with him. Well, I'm still in the alliance, but he's no longer here, so he's not with us anymore, but it's myself, and it was him and Nathan and Cherie and Matt. Um, he was starting to do things that made us worry a little bit about having asking him like, to join our alliance, so the fact that we were able to kind of get him out uh, without getting blood on our hands, I know it sucks to say that, but it's probably going to help us out. And we were trying to tell him to like lay low, and he was just being a little too amped up and that was drawing attention to us. He was you know, following us around a little bit too much and I didn't want people to realize that we were working together. Um, but I hate that he had to go. I think he's a great kid. And I just hope that I can continue to play a good social game and um, just feel comfortable if anyone's HOH besides myself. Uh, he was becoming a liability, unfortunately. He's a great kid, uh, but it, it's probably better that he's out now. Um, but then we all kind of were on the consensus that we wanted Christian to go home, so it's worked out for the best, but that was that was a long round. <laughs> it was a long round. Now, you put up, you, you technically put up on your list Christian and Samantha. Mm -hmm. um, are those really your top two targets? Or were they, sorry? Um, not necessarily. Oh. Okay. Like, not people that I thought were a threat that were gun ho that I would be gun hoeing for. 
Um, I felt this round I really just didn't really know who my next target would be. And so those were the, the two choices that I had. So first of all, everyone like prior to Christian leaving was like, we'll never put Christian up because he'll just always be a pawn and you know, we would feel so bad if he left because we know his family and I'm like, I don't know his family. I don't know him. <laughs> so from the get go, I was kind of like, uh, I could put Christian up. I don't care. <laughs> um, of course I never had to, but then the more, so over the development between like, like the competitions, I don't know. He just became so paranoid and then he started running around to like everyone and was talking about how he's so loyal and I don't he was just so hyped it was too much it was way too much and the, after that point that's all like he's got to go like this is this is I wasn't stressed and then I got stressed so truthfully for the first two rounds I didn't feel stressed it wasn't until the third HOH competition with all the lists that like stuff got real the next time on Big Brother Video, the Big Brother auction brings risk, reward, and regret analysis. Who will survive? Find out next week on Big Brother Video.